Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to take a look at adding things to scrapbooks in layout. In case you are not aware, scrapbooks are collections of elements that you can just pull off of the toolbar, the sidebar, and just drop right into your layout file. Um, there's a bunch of default ones that people play around with when they go into layout. They think it's pretty cool. I can grab a person or an image of a car or something like that. Uh, it's a great way to get 2D elements onto your drawing in layout, but you can go much further than what the defaults let you do. So the default is a collection of mostly 2D symbolism and tags and stuff like that that you can drag onto your model. But you can actually go in and customize or create your own scrapbooks from scratch, and it's super easy to do and super powerful. We're going to check that out right now. Okay, so here we are. I'm in... Uh, What's it called? Layout? Yeah, that's right. Layout. I'm in layout. Layout's awesome. Uh, and I want to show, let's look at the defaults real quick. So if I just drop this down, this is nothing's been edited, added, or anything like this. This is just the default. The way a scrapbook works is when you choose a scrapbook, and some of these are in folders. So I have this arrows folder that has a whole bunch of different ones in here. What I can do is I can grab any of these symbols that show up in the window, drop it on here, and it shows up. And then I can go from there and customize it, uh, change colors, change the rendering, all that stuff. Uh, pretty easy to do. So let's let's look at, I like going to people. I like adding people to my thing. So I got a couple options in here. Uh, I can grab a line work people or I can grab a shadowed people. Either way, it drags it in, it drops it. Uh, this is the, the why scrapbooks are so useful is because it's super quick and easy to grab stuff out of here. Now, something a lot of people don't know is this scrapbook right here is just a layout file. So when I come in here and I start grabbing stuff off of here, all I'm doing is pulling things out of a reference layout file and dropping them into my current layout file. So if I wanted to, if I didn't, if I came in here and I wanted to get rid of some of these people, I wanted to add new people, I could in theory go hit edit pull this layout file up, make changes, and then save it back into itself. We're gonna go a step further than that. We're gonna just create one from scratch. We're just gonna take this empty page right here and turn it into a new scrapbook. Okay, so this is gonna be easy. So if I look right now, uh, these are my defaults. We're gonna create a brand new one. Um, I'm gonna start simple with this, right? I'm gonna do something similar to what most of these do, and that is I'm gonna create some symbols. I'm gonna put a circle right here. Uh, I'm gonna come in and uh, use option to copy that over. I'm going to use shift to uniformly scale it down to a little over half. I'm going to do that a couple times. Say, I don't know, maybe maybe the drawings I do, uh, I do call outs with circles and I want four different sizes of circles that I can just quickly grab on rather than drawing circles each time. All right, so there we go. So I just created a set of circles. Now to get this into the scrapbook, what I want to do is go to file and save a scrapbook. Before I go there though, I do want to call this out. Look in your settings menu real quick. Uh, if you're on Mac, it's in layout. If you're on Windows, it's under window. But I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna look at this right here, scrapbooks. So there's two default locations for scrapbooks. The first is this hard-coded one up here, which is the default scrapbooks that are actually in the installation. Then you might have another one here that's another folder that can be written to. Um, I'm on Mac and you notice that I have this little tilde library, blah, 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 blah. This is actually a hidden folder. So I don't want to mess with that. So I just created a new folder in the, the visible library application support 2025 layout scrapbooks folder. So that's a folder I can get to. That means I can edit it anytime. Dr writing into this hidden folder means I have to go reveal it and, and all that stuff to get to those files. I don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to, I added this folder to the defaults as a publicly editable location. Same thing on Windows. If you ever have a hidden or a locked folder, uh, you might have issues saving your scrapbooks out and you might have issues finding or editing them after. So I'm just going to say in general, make sure the folder that you have here is a place you can get to regularly and you can edit as needed. So you have the right rights, all that kind of thing. Make sure that is true. Okay. So once I know that is true, I'm going to go to file rather than just hit and save, I'm going to hit save as scrapbook. Makes sense, right? So it's gonna come up and ask me, what is this scrapbook? Uh, I'm gonna say this is my, uh, I'm just gonna use the term sample because I wanna be able to track it easy and it's gonna be 
not just circles by the end. And I'm going to save it into that public folder. So you can see this is the default folder it gives me. This is the one that I have a hard time getting to. This is the one I added and I can get to regularly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now that has just been saved as a scrapbook file into Layout 2025. So if I come over here and drop this down, look at the bottom, boom, sample. That means if I start a new file, so I'm going to say new, uh, let's do this a different one so we can see the orientation's different. I can just grab this circle, drop it on, grab this circle, drop it on. Uh, quick and easy, simple, just like a regular scrapbook, right? So let's take that a little further. Let's do a couple things here. Let's add some different content to this uh, other than just drawing. Uh, and let's talk about labeling these things. Let's talk, let's label these first. Um, I'm going to say that I want to have something on here that tells me what each of these circles are. Maybe I use these for different functions. Like this is represents volume or size or changes or something like that. And I want to put a label on here. What I can do is grab my text. I'm just going to dra drag a text box right here. And I'm going to say full size. I don't know exactly what that means, but you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. All right, then I'm going to go in here. Uh, I'm going to say I want to, I'm just going to change that real quick. So I'm going to go to show fonts. And I'm just going to bump that up. I'm like 18 and bold or something like that. Okay, that works. Um, and then maybe I'll take that and slide it over. Slide it over just slightly. And then I'm going to say option, move to here, to here. Oops, I have hit option that time. To here, to and then I'm just gonna change these, right? So this is gonna be half, this one will be third. I don't know, I'm making stuff up. And we'll call this one tiny, because I don't wanna, I, I don't, because I don't like to be predictable. I have to, I have to change things up there. All right, so I'm gonna get those labels underneath the circles they represent. Once I have that, and they're where I want them to be, that kind of thing, uh, I'm spending way more time on this than I probably need to since these don't really mean anything, but I like to look good. I'm going to take those now. I'm going to go over to my layers. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this locked. And guess what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to lock it. Now I'm going to grab those labels and I'm going to right click. I'm going to say move to layer locked. So once they're on layer locked, I can't select them. I can't do anything to them. So the reason this is cool is if I go to file and I save that, when I look on, here's my my uh, template right here. Let's go ahead and switch windows back to our sample file. I can still grab my circles and bring them in, but my text there, which labels what these are, I can't, I can't, I can't click and drag them in. See that? Because they're locked. So lock stuff will stay in your scrapbook, so it's visible, but you can't interact with it. All right, let's go hop back over to this one right here. Let's edit it a little bit more. Let's add some additional content in here. Um, I have a couple files on my desktop. One is this block of text. I'm just gonna drop that in. Let's take a look at that. This is just some, some lorem ipsum uh, text that I generated a while ago and saved in a text file. And I can put that on here and that will become an available uh, block of text to pull in anytime I want. Um, a little while ago, we did a picnic table on a live stream. So I'm going to grab that uh, SKP file and drop that on here also. All right, so there we go. We got it. I'm going to edit it just a little bit. Make it, make it smaller so it fits on the page. Do that. And I'm going to make it look nicer on here by... Uh, I'll go into it and change it to a vector drawing, so you get nice clean lines, and then also go in here to style and turn the background off. All right, so there we go. So we got a nice picnic table sitting there. Um, and then let's do one more thing. I got a SketchUp logo file, just an image file here that I could drop on like that. Okay, cool. Um, awesome, there we go. So now we have drawings, we have text, we have a text file, we have a SketchUp file, we have an image file. Um, I cropped it a little bit, that's gonna bother me. Or maybe the image is, image is just cropped. Never mind. that's not my fault, that's somebody else's fault. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit File, Save. We'll hop over to our sample 
model. And we can see here, there's my scrapbook. I have my my uh, all my things on there and I can just grab them just like I do with any of the other existing scrapbooks and I can bring them in. And once they're in here, they are that thing, right? So this is just an image now. This is not an, not an image, not a representation. This is the actual SKP file linked into my model through that scrapbook image. So anything you can put into a layout file, all you gotta do, save as scrapbook, and then it's gonna show up here and you can just drag it right in next time you create a layout file. So I know for me, when I first started using layout, I relied heavily on those default scrapbooks. If it wasn't in there, I went in and made things from scratch. And there's some times where I hate to say, well, I, I created something in one layout file and then I needed it in the next layout file. I went to that previous layout file, copied it, came in here, pasted it in there because I didn't understand how scrapbooks worked. I was scared or something, I don't know. But they're really very simple. You can see right there, all you gotta do, create a layout file, save it as a scrapbook, make sure it's someplace you can get to in case you wanna edit it. And there you go, you can just grab it, drop it, boom, that simple. Uh, really that simple. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit deeper. Maybe next week we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about maybe how we work with auto text, which we've been touching on a lot recently, and how auto text works inside of scrapbooks. Cause uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff once you start tacking these different tools together, you get pretty powerful stuff going on. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe, including our live streams. Most Fridays we do a live stream here at noon mountain time and we go through an entire modeling process. Very cool, uh, come check it out sometime. Most importantly, don't leave us a comment down below. Have you played with scrapbooks? Is this new to you? Are you gonna give it a try? Do you have another tip for using layout that you think more people should know about? Leave all that in the comment. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.